Good afternoon. Welcome to Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. This is your Little Dragon class for Wednesday, April 22nd. Let's go ahead and start. Feet together. And bow. Take your hands out. Shake it side to side. Up and down. We're going to work our speed test today. Roll it in a circle. We're going to go all the way through. Explosive Dragon very strongly. Other way. Circles. Hands out in the front. Rotate your arms. One going one way. One going the other way. Challenge your brain. Reach up real tall. Reach out real wide. Reach down real low. And back. One, two, three, four. Reach up real tall. Out real wide. Stretch. Stretch back. And down towards your toes. Keep those legs straight. And back. One, two, three, four. Take a small hop out with your feet. Keep your balance. Lean down. Try not to touch the ground. See how low you can go without touching the ground and without falling down. Over to the left side. Hold it. Keep that leg straight. Other side. <clears throat> Bend the left knee. Spider-Man stretch. Hold your balance. It's okay to touch the ground. And switch sides. Stay low. Keep that leg straight. Sit all the way down. Pull those feet together. Stretch down. Remember, moms and dads, you might want a pen and paper or pencil and paper handy when we do the speed test because I'll have to set the timer and we'll go and we'll do it together. When we're done, they'll count their kicks or you guys can count their kicks and then write that down and kind of use the guide under the challenge sheet to see what their, their goal was. Put your left leg out. Switch sides. We're going to try it on both legs just to give them a challenge. But the main priority is just their favorite leg. Whichever one's their best leg, that's the number we're going to use. And then put both legs in the front. Try to keep those, that body up nice and tall. Lean down very strongly. And then set back. Take your legs out as wide as you can get them. Very good. Keep your body up nice and tall. Have good posture. Good. Lean forward a little bit. It's over to the left side. All the way over. Keep those legs straight. Other way. <clears throat> and remember, keep your body up nice and tall. Don't let your body scrunch down. Keep your body up tall. Try to walk your hands in the front of you as far as you can go while keeping your bottom on the ground. We're going to try to make our split a little bit better. Ready? So we're going to take one hand and put it in front of us, one hand put it behind us. We're going to try to pick our body up just a little bit and then walk our leg out that way. So we're not going to try to pull our leg back. You're going to try to just push the leg over a little bit more. Okay? Very good. And then from here, lean forward again. Work on our full splits challenge from challenge week. Trying to do our stretches every single day and see how much better we can get. Ah. Grab your legs. Slide back. Pull your legs in. Check them out. Back to heels, toes, back out, back in, left leg out, switch, both legs, back in the front, just make sure you're awake, and all the way up, feet together, good, bow, been working really hard on our jumping jacks, we normally do 10, so today we're going to do 15, so if we've practiced and gotten better at them, so we can do more now, ready, so we're doing 15 jumping jacks, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good. Okay, then we also worked on our running jacks. So your feet are switching places while your hands are going up and your hands are coming back down. So start with one foot in front of the other foot and start with your hands down by your side. You jump and switch spots, hands go up. You jump, put them back where you got them, put your hands back down where they were, just like that. And that would be one, ready? So we're gonna try to do five of those and go. One, two, three, four, Five. Very good. Feet together. And keep my stance. Yeah. Hands up by your chin. Go ahead. Put your left hand out. One. Super strong punch. Ready? Go. Make sure your key my stance is the best you can do. Ready? Go. 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 Bend those knees. Very good. Other hands by your chin. Nice and fast. Ready? Two punches this time. Go. And the goal with speed is making sure your punches, each punch is strong. So we're not doing this punch shorter, just so we can do this one faster. Each one is as strong as we can do it. Ready? Two punches. Go. 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 
bend those knees. Go ahead and pull both hands up by your chin this time. We're going to punch low, not straight down, but right about where our belt level is. Right about here. Okay, so not down there, but right about there. Ready? And punch. Very good. And go. 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 Very good. Now we're going to punch high, not straight up in the air. We're punching right about where our forehead is. So punch right towards my forehead. Ready? Go. Make sure your eyes are watching what you're doing. Go. 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 Very good. So now we're doing three punches at one time. But that, not at the same time. We're going to do them back to back to back. So when I say go, you throw a low punch, a middle punch, and a high punch. Ready? Using your left hand first. And go. Low, middle, high. Very good. One more time. And go. Low, middle, high. High. Make sure whichever hand you're not punching with, where does it go? Does it go down by the floor? Good. Does it go way over here? Does it go by your chin? Very good. So when your hand's done punching, make sure it returns to your chin to keep yourself safe. So you're going to start with your right hand this time. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Pin those knees. Keep them strong. We're trying to make our legs stronger. And go. One, two, three. Very good. Feet together. Bow. So now we worked on jumping jacks a little bit ago. So now we're going to work on a new movement, okay, to make your body stronger and make it move it up a little bit. It's called a burpee, okay, not like a burp from your mouth, but a burpee moving your body. Okay, we're going to break it down into steps. You're going to do it with me, okay? Ready? Okay, so take a small step out with your feet. Okay, what you're going to do first is you're going to bend your knees, you're going to squat down to the ground, and put your hands down, kind of like we were doing a frog jump. Okay, so step one, you drop down, hands on the ground. Very good. Now step two, you're going to take and you're going to step your legs back like you're doing a push-up. Good. Step three, you're going to do the push-up. Step four, you're going to hop your legs back to that frog position. And then step five, you're going to jump straight up in the air. <laughs> Just like that. So it's five movements. They're kind of tricky, right? So let's try it again. Ready? So first one was what? Squat your body down like a frog. And then second one, step back with your feet. Third one, do the best push-up you can. Fourth one, hop your feet back in. And then fifth one, jump straight up. Good. So we're going to start doing that a little bit faster. Ready? We got three. We're trying to do five. We just did two. So we got three more to go. Ready? Down. Hop back. Good. Down. Up. Hop back in. Jump. Good. That was the third one. So now we have two more to go. Ready? Drop down. Frog. Keep head up. Push your leg, legs back. Push up. Legs back in. <laughs> Jump, and that's four. Last one. Ready? Drop down. Legs back. Push up. Legs back in. And jump. And that's five. Very good. Feet together. Bow, little dragons. Nice work. Okay, so now we're going to work on our kicks. Make sure we know the difference between our front leg, our back leg front kick, and our axe kick. And then from there, that'll warm our legs up, so then we can have our round kick, which is what we do the speed test with. All right, let's go back to a guard stance. So like in your form explosive dragon, that's when we do your axe kick, okay? So we're gonna start low with the axe kick, and we're gonna work it up higher and higher every time we do it, making sure when you do your axe kick, does it go outside, or does it go from the inside? It goes from the inside, right from the inside, and then turns to the middle. So it comes inside, and then straight down, ready? So we're gonna try to kick right about where your belt level is. Keep those toes up nice and strong, so you hit with your heel, right? And go. Nice and low, so you have your balance. Ready? And every time you kick, make sure you're trying to have balance. You're trying to keep your hands by your chin. So if you kick so high and so hard and so fast that your hands do this, then that's going to knock your balance away. You want to keep it by keeping your hands up by your chin. So let's kick a little bit higher, right about where our belly button is, and go. A little bit, a little higher, uh, by maybe where your patch is, and go. Very good. A little bit higher, keeping control, right about where your nose is, go. Good, last one, best one, kicking like forehead high if you can do it. If you can't kick that high, that's okay. Kick as high as you can while still doing it properly and awesomely. Ready? And go. Very good. Ready? Switch feet. Awesome job. And so same thing, turn your belly button, pick the leg up, swing it down faster. That's another challenge I want you to work on when doing your axe kick. However fast you swing it up, it's got to swing down even faster because that's when it would hit the target or hit the person. So it's up and it's down fast. Good. So instead of picking it up and just dropping it nice and slow, instead you're going to pick it up kind of slow and then swing it down really fast. Right? So it's up, down, fast. Ready? Go. Up, down. A little bit higher and up, down. Good. Up, down. Ready? A little bit higher. Up, down. One more time, a little bit higher, up, swing it. Very good. Make sure you're swinging and trying to find that same spot every single time. Last time, ready, bow, really fast. Okay, now switch sides. So that was your back leg axe kick. Say axe kick, 
axe kick. Got that one locked in. Now you're going to do your back leg front kick. Okay, say front kick, front kick. That means you kick towards the front using the bottom of your foot. Specifically, what's that part of the foot we're using? The ball of your foot, right? It's the little squishy part under your toes. So go to your guard stance. Do you remember when you do your front kick? What part of your moves? It's not in your form. It's not in your self-defense. It's in your choke defense, right? When you hit it up, you hit it away, and then you do a front kick to back them up. So this is the move we do in our, on our choke defense. We're practicing it now, okay? Hands up. So your front kick, we break it down into steps. Lift it up. Find your balance. Push it out. Pull it back in. Put it down. Since we're kicking slowly, we can also kick lowly. It's okay. Ready? Pick it up. Push it out. Pull it back. Put it down. A little bit faster, a little bit higher. Pick it up. Push it out. Pull it back. Put it down. Make sure it goes to the same place every time. If you're kicking so hard that it's falling in the front, try not to kick that hard. Good. Try to keep your balance. Kick that fast, but don't kick so hard going forward. Ready? A little bit higher, a little bit faster. Ready? Go. Just like the axe kick, your hands stay in by your chin. Ready? Go. Go ahead, pick that knee up. That's the most important part that makes that axe kick. A front kick instead is you bending your knee. If you're not bending your leg, then you're basically doing an axe kick. If you bend your knee, now you're doing the front kick we need you to do. A little bit higher, a little bit faster. Ready? Go. Very good. Switch sides. Same thing at first. Low and slow. Pick it up. Kick it out. Pull it back. Put it down. Pick it up, Ooh, hold it, hold it, push it out, work your balance, pull it back, put it down. A little bit higher, pick it up, push it out, pull it back, put it down, a little bit higher, a little bit faster, ready, go. Good, a little bit higher, a little bit faster, ready, go. Last one, fastest and high as you can do it as long as you're bending your knee, ready, go. Excellent job, feet together. And bow. So our legs are nice and warmed up. So we're going to go on to your balance test, okay? So this is the challenge. I'm going to have the time. I'm going to tell you when to go. I'm going to tell you when to stop. Your job is to kick as fast as you can, as best as you can. And either you're counting for yourself, dragons, or if your parents are there, your parents can count for you and make sure you're doing it right. Again, if you have a bag, like we did for the balance test, you can kick the bag or you can just kick towards the air. I don't have a bag, so I'm just going to kick towards the air, just like this. Now, I'm, every time the leg goes out properly, that's when it counts. Good, ready? So I'm gonna set the timer. How many seconds do we have? 10 seconds, as best you can. Okay, we're gonna do it twice to make sure that we practice it at least one time so we get a feel for it, and then we go real strong so we can get our best number. We're doing both legs, so that's gonna be the fun challenge. Ready? Three, two, one, ready, go! We need you can. Go, 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 keep going. Good, we're halfway there, keep going, fast as you can. Hurry, hurry, make sure the kicks are good and strong and long. Keep going, and time. Okay, how many did you get? Good. Say it to me. Very good. Okay, so now, however many that was, we're going to try to beat that number. Ready? Okay. Deep breath in. Well, to beat your number is make sure your kick is, it goes, it's got, it can't be this, right? It still has to go all the way back and all the way out, and all the way back and all the way out. I'm okay if your number goes down a little bit if your kick becomes a better kick. All right? Ready? Here we go. So, second time working your balance test or your speed test. Ready? 10 seconds, three, two, one, go. Good, go, 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 fast as you can, fast as you can, keep going, good, keep going, we're halfway there, keep going, good, go, 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 be strong, be strong, be strong, and time, very good. Switch sides, as many as you can do in 10 seconds, and it's okay to hold on to something. So now, we're switching sides. I know, this, this number, if this isn't your favorite side, may have less kicks to it, and that's okay. Because if this isn't your best leg, it's probably not gonna have the best number. And I want you to try both legs and make sure you can at least do those kicks properly for 10 seconds in a row. All right, ready? Balance on it. Get your body used to kind of figuring itself out. Pick your leg up, turn it sideways. 10 seconds, make sure it all the way out, all the way back. If this, is, if this leg isn't your best leg, don't be in a hurry. Make sure your focus is on making sure it's going out and coming back. And the number will take care of itself. Ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Many as you can do, many as you can do, best you can do, best you can do. We're halfway there, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there, and time. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Remember your number, good, and your number, your job now is to try to beat that number. Okay, just so hopefully your leg is warmed up and it can go a little bit faster while still kicking really strong. That's the trick to having really strong kicks, really fast kicks. It's just by kicking the back very strongly. 
you're kicking it as strong as you're, you can, you're like, it has to be moving fast to do that. Okay, so instead of worrying about flutter kicks like this, make sure you're really trying to like break the back. You're kicking as strong as you can to the air. That also works. Ready? 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Fast as you can. Fast as you can. Keep going. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. A little bit more. And time. Very good. How'd you do? Did you do your very best? That's all I'm worried about. As long as you did your absolute positive very best, then we can get better from there. Okay? Shake your legs out. They're probably tired now. That's okay. Very good. Okay, so take a step back for me. Now we're gonna work on explosive dragon. Those axe kicks should be amazing so our leg is nice and warmed up. We're gonna do the advanced dragon part as well, which goes into one of your challenges, which is doing your form in 15 seconds or less. Good, your advanced dragons, you have to add that part onto it too. If you're a little dragon, you're not yet advanced dragon, and you don't know that part, you can learn it with us, but you're not gonna test on it, so that's okay. Ready, hands right your side, bow. Just about to say martial arts, America, Explosive, dragon, step back, ay -yah! Then move number one, back fist, punch. Good, move number two, axe kick, X block. Good, move number three, drop down, punch right, punch left, pull the hands, double, ay -yah! palm heel strike, just like that. Advanced dragons, ready, stand up. Advanced dragons, axe kick. This time you set in the front, good to practice it on both. And then you double palm heel strike like this, from this side out, making sure you're not fingers, you're here. They're pulled back like bird, bird wings. You pull up, pull down, ay -yah! just like that. And you pull it in, finish it out, little dragon team. Go ahead, and so if you have that challenge paper, we're gonna go ahead and try to do it in 15 seconds or less together as a team. So if I, I'm gonna do it in less than 15 seconds, so as long as you stay with me, then we'll both check that box together and we'll succeed that part of your challenge paper, okay? So ready, be together, and bow, ready, go. Martial arts, America, explosive, dragon, oh yeah, stay with me. Back fist, punch, axe kick, X block, drop down, punch, punch, oh yeah, advantage dragons, keep going. Boom, ready, here, step up, pull down, oh yeah, finish it out, little dragon team. That was 14 seconds, right? That's kind of fast. So we're gonna try it again, making sure we're doing the moves correctly. Don't get in a hurry, just stay with me. If you stay with me, you do it at my speed, we can get it done together, ready? Feet together. Good, and go. Martial arts, America, explosive, drag, oh yeah, go. Back fist, punch, axe kick, X block, punch, punch, oh yeah. Stand up, advanced dragons, hit it. Good, Ooh, pull it, hit it, step forward, oh yeah, finished out. Little dragon team. Whew. That's right at 15. So we're doing it, we're moving really fast. You guys did really well. Be together, bow, take your time for there. Deep breath in through your nose. You guys moving really fast today, breathe out. Okay, so now we're gonna work our self-defense on both sides, making sure we can do that part really strong. We don't have to time that or do it as fast as we can, but I wanna make sure we know how to do it correctly, okay, on both sides, which is the challenge. So you're here in ready stance, ready to get punched at, so you can block it, very good. So again, this is blocking a hammer fist or anything coming down towards your head. It could also technically block an ax kick. Your ax block could block that ax kick, right? So I step back with my right foot, I look up, my elbows come in nice and tight, so I can shoot the hands up over my head nice and strong. And from there, I'm going to then pull my right hand back. Keep your left hand on it, because if they're hammer fisting, you're blocking it and holding it up and keeping it there. So I can punch underneath it. That makes them drop their hand down. So then I can ax kick to back them up. Ready? One more time. Step back, eyes go up, sharpen the fingers. Don't open the fingers, just sharpen them. And then X block over your head. Make sure you're crossing at your wrist. Left hand comes up, your body turns to build power. Pivot as you punch, just like in your form. Now your hands come down by your chin, and there's your ax kick, very good. And so just remember, when you step back with, whichever foot you step back with, that's the hand you're gonna punch with, that's the leg you're gonna kick with. Okay, so now we're gonna try on the other side, see if it makes sense on that side too. So we're gonna step back with our left foot, which means our right hand stays up. If we step back with this foot, or this hand does the punch, that leg does the ax kick, right? Okay, good, one more time. Step back, X block, punch, ax kick. And just remember, we're going from the guard stance. We're not stepping forward because the attack's coming at us. If I step forward, then it's gonna come at me faster. I wanna step backwards so it comes at me slower, so I have more time to be fast, right? Okay, so one more time on each side. This time, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna do the moves, and you're gonna do it whatever side I do it on. So if I step back with this foot, you'll step back with your right foot. If I step back with this foot, you step back with your left foot. Ready? Step back. 
Try to keep your head up when you axe kick. Good. One more time. Those hands up after you do the X block. Excellent. Okay, then a couple other challenges we had, dragons or parents that are watching. Uh, one of the challenges was the backfisting challenge. Dragons, you have a very, very fast backfist. Okay, you can use anything that is you know, soft enough to hit to not hurt yourself with. The challenge is going to be, okay, you're going to take and you're going to hold that and balance that on. You're not holding it in your hand. You're balancing it on your hand. Whether it's like this, good. Or I can also do it like this if you need something flatter. Very good. You can also use like a small ball, like a tennis ball or something like to that extent, a trigger point ball. And then from here, all you're going to do is pull your hand back really fast. Now, this is the trick. We're not tossing it up, right? You're pulling your hand straight back. Hopefully, this will just drop straight down. That. That's what I want, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the hand back, causing that to fall. And right when your hand comes back, you're going to try to push it right away back into it, hopefully hitting it before it falls too far, before it falls out of your view. Ready? Good. That's your challenge. So you, from here, you pull the hand back really fast, causing it to drop. And then as soon as it comes back, it goes right back out, hitting it out of the air. That's why I suggest you do it with like a tennis ball or just something, something that can, A, rest on your hand, something smaller, and then something that you can hit and not hurt your hand, like a ball or a, maybe a small stuffed animal or something like that. Good. And then the second one, this is the hardest one good, for the dragons, and that's okay. Parents, if you've ever done this, I would definitely try this too. It's just a fun little trick to, to learn. Um, this is the, the coin catch challenge. So you take the coin and you're going to set it on top of your elbow with your hand beside you and behind your head, just like this. And the goal is to drop the hand, causing the coin to fall to the ground, and then bring your hand down and catch the coin out of the air. Good. So it's here, there. Good. There's no illusion. There's no magic trick here. Good. But the, the, the trick to it is to not go away from your body. I'm kind of keeping everything tight to my body and pushing down okay, because what that does, if I pull my elbow straight down, it causes the, the coin to slide straight down. And then from there, I just reach straight down and grab it. So the, the, your elbow should come behind your body. If your elbow stays out in front of you, you're not going to have time to, I'll show you, you don't have time to get it. It just falls. Good. So that's why sometimes it looks like super fast and like flashy fast. And really it's just good, that. And sometimes it doesn't work, but it's pulling it down and then pushing the hand down and catching it. Good. One more time from the front. Good. That's the fun trick. Boop. Very good. Last thing we're going to work on is the choke defense. Good. Work on the front kick we practiced earlier. You can start from that ready stance on both sides. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and hit them up. And where are you hitting? You're hitting the person in the hands. You're hitting them in the arm. You're hitting behind or hitting them on the elbow or behind the elbow. Should be behind the elbow. Should the elbow it should be behind where they are from you. So it hits up on it. That should knock their hands up or at least make their hands hurt a little bit, make their arms hurt and make them let go. And then from there, you step forward, step into them. You take your hands and you push them away. Don't push them like this. Not a normal push. Good. It's a karate push. So it's like this. It's a strike. Good. And then your hands come up as your knee comes up and you kick. Front kick them away. Good. So ready? Ready stance like this. I bend my knees to build power. I strike up and out. So your hands are upside down. And then I pull my elbow, my hands to my side. And my elbows come back. Step forward with your left foot. Step towards me. Get closer to me. Strike out. When you're done, the bottoms of your hands should kind of mush together. And then as your hands come up, your leg comes up. And you push them away with your kick. Good. So it's a little bit faster. I'm just going to say go. And we're going to do all of those motions together. Ready? And go. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Okay, one more time a little faster. Notice how things are happening at the same time to make them stronger, right? This comes up as that comes up. This lands as this hits. And this comes up as this kicks. Boom. If it's done together with balance, it's a lot stronger. Okay, last time. Ready? Hit it up. Boom. Hit it. Don't just push it. Hit it. It's got to hit away. Should make a sound. Good. And then kick it. Boom. Just like that. All right? Feet together. And bow. One knee, dragon. Say one knee, sir. So really important thing, parents. Uh, we're working on, I want to say tomorrow and the next day, working on getting some stripe testing done. So we'll be calling you guys. We'll be Zooming you guys one-on-one -on -one, um, to make that happen. If we have not reached out to you yet, because we're going to do it via email. So if we've not reached out to you by tomorrow or by the end of the week, please email us or call us or let us know. If you know that you don't have an email on file or if you've changed it very recently, uh, please call us so we can get that adjusted for you guys. So we send these to the correct email and make that happen. Um, 
if there's any questions on that or if I'm not saying it correctly, just either email us or you can call us or you can Facebook us. We'll be more than happy to kind of walk you guys through the steps. Another big thing is if you, because we're going by the attendance we track here by all the comments of people leaving um, from that their student was practicing. And so, but sometimes things slip through the cracks or something. So sometimes technology happens. And so if you know your student has been to, you know, at least six to eight classes within the last several weeks and you are not contacted this week by any way, shape or form, please contact us so we can help get that fixed for you guys and adjust it. All right. Thank you very much. Dragons, you did an awesome job today. Good work. Make sure you remember your speed test numbers. Hopefully you wrote those down. Um, if not, then do it again on your own time. Again, just 10 seconds. Hold on to something. Kick the air or kick a bag as many times as you can properly. And then that's your number. And the number starts, the time starts as soon as they make contact with that first kick. All right. Um, we have the weapons class coming up next. So if dragons that aren't in black ball training, have a wonderful day. Juniors that are and dragons that are, we'll see you soon. Feet together and bow. You guys are dismissed.